<sighs> Man, alright. I seen last episode was tense. Where am I? Um Oh that does not help at all. I can't see. I hear running. What do I hear running? Why is there blood footsteps? Bruh, I heard you! I'm acting like that didn't happen, bro. <laughs> I'm acting like that didn't happen, bro. I'm acting like that didn't just happen. I didn't just jump like a little girl. You don't have me anymore. Who? Go, 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 go. Oh my god! Is this where I was at that one time? On the first Outlast? Uh... Oh, yeah. oh he's hooping! <laughs> What's that in his hand? Put the camera away. This game just, oh my god. He's playing alone and losing. That is what the game is. There's a mathematical proof if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to infinity, you can arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. If you continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at 1 and a half. Negative point zero eight three, so on, repeating. I'm losing my grips on things. I'm thinking about the drive here, 400 miles in a rented truck, the job that shows up just in time to cover our bills, our debts, the insurance, the boy sleeping in the back, nothing but AM radio, gospel, country western, late night paranoiac, talk radio, we sang Patsy Cline songs and laughed at conspiracies of aliens and ghosts, Mal marker numbers passing and headlights i don't want to die here i wouldn't want to die here either shoot you see this place <coughs> yo what is all this hello I guess I'm supposed to go in here, right? Guess not. Bro, I'm at a dead end here. He's still shooting that head. Oh! Yeah, let's just run where he was and close this. In case he decides to come back. Um. Oh my God. Uh. Wow, he got neck is broken. He is not okay. Uh. I guess I'm supposed to. Hey, please don't, don't, don't. Get punched in the head again, please. What are you? I was supposed to make that jump. <laughs> Oh, you're banging. Okay, uh, we should leave. Just save drop. Okay, save drop, save drop. Save drop, save drop. In the oh my god, don't tell me we're going to the sewers again. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, we're going up. Okay, good. I do not want to do sewer missions anymore. Uh, what am I... I guess I'm supposed to... 
anything here for me. What's this suspense again? He looks nervous. I would like to. Oh my god, it's the twins again. As would I. Why do y'all want to kill me? They're friendly. Uh, just let me through. Thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate you. Hey, nice seeing y'all, man. Hey, y'all take care. Why are you walking towards me? Why are you walking towards me, bro? Bro, why is he walking to- Oh, nah. You know, bro, I ain't no pussy. Don't push me! This nigga just cracked my shit! I'm done! Don't push me back in there. You fight him. Locked. There is a document in there that I would like to read. Um, <sighs> Kurt, we've got another one, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeking Wernicke's fairly rules. Fairy rules. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing of a contracted contracted security guard. And seems vanishingly improbable to he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case or the others before him. It's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing to entire it's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person. Billings. Uh I guess I'm going this way. Oh man, yo, they just they nail it every time with these things, man. I'm telling you, radio over there, no battery. I guess we're supposed to go up there. They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. Yo, that's two radios without a battery. Oh my god, somebody's gonna beat in over there. Oh, that does not sound good. Let's go ahead and close the door behind us, guys. Let's not forget our manners. Uh, 
anything here for me? Let's go ahead and tell. Yes. Yeah, they doing wrong stuff over at this asylum. Please come help. Always <laughs> messing something up, man. <laughs> Wailing, you couldn't just, you couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. I think that's Brock. Do me a favor and die here, Park. Please don't tell me that's Brock. Please, bro. I, that's I hate it. Brock, guys. It's Brock. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go, 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 go. Let me in. Oh my god, you bitch. You bitch. You gonna do me like that. You. He gonna open the door. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Close that door. And keep running. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Brock. <laughs> Can't get through. Go in the gate and go back. Oh my gosh. Uh. All right, guys. So I think we'll just stop it here. Whew, man, please tell me that is the last time I see Brock. God, oh, excuse me, but I don't want to see Brock no more. Please, please, Outlast, please, I beg you, please. But, uh, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching this episode. It's Contours, and uh, if you like this episode, be sure to like, sub, share if you found it scary or funny, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next episode.